Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. God is the eternal judge to whom every knee will bow, yet He did not come into the world because He wanted to judge the world, but because He wanted to save it. We're reading today from John chapters 3 and 4, and the verse of the day is John 3, verse 17. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but so that the world might be saved through Him. In context, Jesus is sharing how to be born again in this chapter and what the purposes of God were in His coming. We can all think we know God's purposes. In Jesus' day, many thought that he would be a political figure and hero to save them politically from the rulers of their day. Imagine how defeated they felt when Jesus was crucified. But if Jesus had not died for all mankind, then we would all still remain under God's wrath and judgment for our sins. One false perception about judgment is that we will not still be judged. But friends, Scripture says that judgment will still happen, even for those who are in Christ. Judgment starts with the church. But a different judgment than the judgment of the world. Our deeds will be judged. Were we faithful? What did we do with what God gave? 2 Corinthians 5.10 says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. Christ lived a perfect life to pay our sin debt, and he is the righteous judge who will then judge the world. I chose the key word judge, which is the Greek word krino. It means to try, to condemn, punish, call into question, to sentence. Thought of the day, the perfect judge did not judge us as we deserve. And application, when we are tempted to judge others, maybe we can consider how we were not judged as we deserve to be. Go with God in his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Colossians.